What is up YouTube? This is Zach, Dream Media Home Theater, and I am out here doing another installation for you guys. We know you love those videos. What we're gonna be doing today is an entire house. I'm gonna be putting TVs up on the wall throughout with some Samsung 4K and 8K TVs, as well as Sonos throughout the entire house. I think we got nine zones in this house, and we're gonna do a nice rack and network it all in. It's gonna be pretty cool. Let me take you inside and show you what we're gonna be doing. Let's go. Okay, so you can see the guys already getting everything set up. Um, we respect your home. We make sure to either take our shoes off or wear booties. Uh, the guys are laying down moving blankets. Follow me. This is the living room. And in the living room, this customer is pre-wired for rear speakers, stereo audio, but they didn't have front speakers wired in, which is kind of weird. So what we're going to be doing is working on what we have. Um, we're going to be installing a Sonos play bar up here at the front of the room with a Q90R Samsung 4K TV. And what's really cool about Sonos is the fact that you can go into the programming right from your phone and assign either surround speakers or stereo speakers. So what we're gonna be doing is actually configuring this as a 5.1. So these are gonna be assigned as surround left and surround right. We're gonna be using these Klitsch Pro 180 RPWs, right here. This is a really nice speaker. It's gonna fill the room well. Horn loaded tweeter, surround metallic woofers, you know, everything that you love about clips. And then we're gonna throw a Sonos wireless sub on top of it, which will give them that low frequency bass. So that's gonna complete this system here. What's great about Sonos is you have independent zone control. You can group together rooms, you can play a different song or a TV show in every single room in the house. So out there, we have another zone, which we're gonna be using some episode all weather wall mounted speakers. Let me show you what we got. So you see these plates up here on the wall? Uh, these are gonna be pre-wired locations. They just ran 16.2 to each location. And what we're gonna do is pop that plate off, drill a small little hole in it, we're gonna pull our wire out, and then we're gonna mount our speakers into the brick. And those are gonna fire out towards the yard, filling this entire space. It's not a huge backyard, so that'll definitely be sufficient for the space. Customer did not go with an outdoor TV. This is pretty common, especially in Texas, just because, you know, it's covered. It, it's not gonna be horrible. Um, elements, it's not going to be getting rained on, but we do advise that you get an outdoor TV if you want that peace of mind. But, you know, if you're not going to invest in an outdoor TV, just get a cheapo, throw it up there on the wall. So the guys will be wall mounting this right here, and we're going to tie that into the Sonos system with these weather rated speakers. Look at these bad boys. <laughs> And that's gonna be powered up with a Sonos amp. That's that brand new one that just came out. Retail 600 bucks, 125 watts per channel. It has a ARC audio return channel in it as well so that you can tie in your television. All right, let me show you the rest of the house. This was a model home and it had some speakers already installed that we're gonna be utilizing today. You can see this is the office. The office has two in-ceiling speakers so all we're gonna do is throw a Sonos amp on it, again, 125 watts channel, will definitely be more than sufficient for this space. And then the customer can independently play his music right to this room whenever he's walk, uh, working or working Getting out. out. <laughs> and uh, basically, this exact same system is going to follow throughout the rest of the house. There's some rooms that are not pre-wired, which the guys are going to be installing some speakers, and I'll show you how that installation is completed as well. What's up, kitty? Here at Dream Media, we love animals. All right, uh, this is the master bedroom, and master bedroom is wired and currently has a couple of speakers that are already installed in the ceiling, but we're not gonna be using them. The reasoning behind that is, is because the wiring for this room terminates up in the upstairs closet, and we would have had to do like a 
Cat5 Balin to HDMI to get the audio return back. And I mean, from a cost standpoint, it made more sense for us just to put in a Sonos soundbar. So we're gonna be using this Q80R and a Sonos soundbar and a wireless woofer in this room. So the customer can grab that TV audio off of the optical audio into the soundbar and pair together their master bathroom. Everybody needs audio in the master bathroom. You have to shower, you have to shave. You spend some time in here. So this is one of my favorite rooms to have audio. If you don't have audio in your master bathroom, you're missing out on a little bit of life. So what we're gonna be doing today in this room is you can see there's no speakers. We're gonna have to wire them. So the guy's gonna hop up in the attic, physically run the wiring to this location, and we're gonna pop those in ceiling speakers into the ceiling and power that up again with a Sonos amp. And 124 watt, five watts channel will be more than sufficient for this space. Um, there's a closet back here, but we're not gonna be doing anything in this space. We're probably gonna put like one here and one here uh, to give them good distribution throughout the space. All right, let's go upstairs and check that out. All right, guys, so this is actually more uh, of a situation that you would typically see in your home. You can see there's some plates here on the ceiling and there's no speakers. So what the guys are gonna do is pop those plates off, knock the boxes off the stud, and cut a bigger hole, put the speakers into the ceiling. This home was a spec home, so it already had some speakers installed. If you're buying a home that was previously owned, it may already have some speakers and some of the other rooms may apply to your exact situation. Um, but in this room right here, a couple in ceilings, so no sound. Welcome to the game room. So in this space here, we have a couple more in ceiling speakers. This is an open concept. Audio is gonna move throughout this entire space. Couple in ceiling speakers is gonna be more than sufficient. We're gonna throw another Sono amp on this zone so they can group together, say, this room with the living room and the patio or whatever when they're entertaining. Now, your favorite room. Everybody loves the home theater. This is already pretty much set up. It's got a 7.1 configuration. Fronts and surrounds and surround rears. Atmos is really in. If you guys do want us to do a more advanced system for you, we can pop in some lower surrounds down at your level. But this customer, we're just going to be putting up an 82 inch Q900R 8K TV. With the brightness and all the ambient light coming in here, I think the TV is best for this situation. We're going to be throwing up underneath it an RP640D center speaker from Klipsch. And we're going to pair that together with a massive. 150 SPL, 150, uh, 15 inch sub. And that's gonna go right here. So um, the customer is wired for a TV up here in this room, but we're not gonna be doing one in this room at this time. You can see this is the termination point for all the wiring. This is the spot in the house that you move in and you're like, ah, what am I gonna do? Don't worry, we have you covered. It may look technical and you know overwhelming but this is our specialty so the guys are basically going to be knocking these shelves out and we're going to make this a legit ab rack you guys have seen this in my videos before the strong fs series this is my favorite system because it's affordable it comes fully assembled so i don't have to have the guys spend an extra hour to three hours, depending on how it's laid out, putting together the rack. It has all the shelves, it has the ventilation right here in the top, check it out. It's very important to keep your equipment cool. You want it to last long term. This is fully enclosed, has a nice glass door there on the front, as well as wheels, nice little casters, so that you can easily service it. So whenever we knock all the, these shelves up, the wiring is going to go straight into our rack and we should be able to pull it out and service it very easily. We're also going to be upgrading the customer's Wi-Fi system. Internet is very important to a system operating efficiently. There's nothing worse than dumping 20 grand into a system and then you're getting skips, delays and drops. Not acceptable, at least not here at Dream Media. 
So we're going to be putting in a Luxel system, the 3150, as well as an XAP1510 access point. So the way the Luxel system works is you have a mesh network. So no matter where the customer roams throughout the home, it's going to seamlessly hand that signal off. It's going to track that IP and <laughs> allow the customer to have a full connection to the Wi-Fi. Uh, if they're paying for a gig, we want to give them a gig everywhere throughout the property. So that's what we're going to be doing today. All right, you can see the guys are already making it happen. Look over here, we got Jerry talking in the in-wall speakers in the living room. All right guys, so as you can see Jerry just uh, cut the speaker out for the R the uh, Pro 180 RPW. This is the standard procedure for installing an in-wall speaker. What you do is you pop that little blue box out of the stud. They just nail them in. And then you take your template, your cutout template, you trace it on the wall, and then you cut the sheetrock. You may have to move the insulation just a little bit in order to get the speaker in there, depending on the amount of insulation. But this is an interior wall, so it's not gonna be a problem. So this is the new design that they came out with last year. It's actually a two-piece system. It's pretty cool because you have the speaker separate from the back box. Yeah. This is the speaker itself. You can see it's got a giant magnet on there. Gold play to push terminals, horn loaded tweeter. And then you got your bass and treble adjustments here. And this is the bracket. You can see, you basically just take the wing and it clamps right onto the sheetrock. So your sheetrock is right here. And Jerry's gonna demonstrate that for us. Yeah, so here's a little tip if you guys are gonna be DIYing it. Whenever you have a pre-wired location like this and it's butted up against the stud, you can't, you can't cling on to the sheetrock because there's a stud right here. So this is a little hack that we actually discovered like just within the last year. What, what he's gonna do is take a screw and put it right through the toggle into the stud and then the other side is going to clamp onto the sheetrock. Making sure that as that woofer's bouncing back and forth, the speaker doesn't come out of the wall. All right guys, so this is what I'm talking about right here. Jerry's about to make some magic happen. He's gonna take that screw and put it directly into the stud. Just like that. Do it top and bottom, and then the other side will clamp right onto the sheetrock, and that speaker's not going anywhere. See what I mean, guys? Just put a couple little screws, one there, one there. The other side clamps right onto the sheetrock, like that. Pretty sweet. Here, take this, Chris. And I will show you how to put the speaker in. This is very complex, guys. <laughs> <laughs> What's great, they actually advertise this product like this, to where you can, you know, you got your hands full, you can just hang the speaker there and make your connections like that. I still, Still got some skills though, so I just held it. But all you're gonna do now is take the speaker and pop it in like this. And then you screw down all four screws and it's gonna tighten the speaker into the wall. You got a screw around. Thank you, Jerry. Just like this. Gotta be careful, you don't wanna over torque your screws and strip it out. Cause then you're screwed. Just like that. Now I'm gonna leave the EQ zeroed out because I'm gonna do my calibration through the sun outside. Uh, this speaker does have a nice clean magnetic grill and these are paintable. So if you have a different color wall, you can paint the grill to match so that it blends in. Seamless.
And the last thing you're going to want to do is level. Perfect. So that's the installation procedure for an end wall speaker. Jerry's going to duplicate that right here on the other pre-wired location. The guys are just going in right now. We're going to get these speakers put in throughout the entire home. Me and this guy named Chris, I don't know who he is, but uh, we're going to go back to the shop and record some stuff for you guys and uh, we'll be back later on this afternoon to show you exactly what makes this system so special. We'll see you shortly. I'm going to go into distributed audio on this space. In this particular so, house we have a wide variety of different rooms that they can play their content. This is the living room and this is actually wired in as a 5.1. I'm gonna go down there and play demo for you as well. It's a pretty cool little system. So it's a combination of hardwired and wired speakers. You have the Sonos play bar up underneath the TV and then you have at the back of the room some Clips Pro 180 RPWs powered up through a Sonos amp and then the right down there, which I'll show you soon, is the Sonos sub, which is wireless. And then we have some other rooms laid out, which I'm gonna show you right here. So we got the bathroom, which is the master bath. We have the dining room, game room, garage, living room master bedroom patio and study all of these rooms are independently controllable so you can select any room that you want and play any music that you want right to that particular room let me play something in the game room go to music oh looks like the customer needs to reauthorize it so give me just one minute oh, wrong phone I got the husband's phone here. Looks like he does not have Apple set up. So I'm gonna play you a quick demo in the game room off of the tune in, which is the free radio that comes with Sonos. Let's do 90s. Can't go wrong with some 90s music, right? We'll see, right? Okay, so you can select that song and it'll just start playing in this particular room. So what's really cool is like, say for example, you want to pair together this room, the game room with the garage. You go game room and garage. And now, it's gonna pull those two rooms together. So the game room and the garage are now gonna be playing the same thing. Fiddle update. There it goes. Had a little lag there. But now, what's in the game room is in the garage. So let's go down and see if we are jamming in the garage. So if everything grouped together properly, we should be playing in the garage now. Are you one of those people who thinks it's okay to drive stealth? I mean, what's the worst that can happen? You end up driving below the speed limit? It's no big deal, right? Wrong. The truth is, your reaction time. Boom, just like that. So you can see, this is really nice because everybody can really have their own space in the house. You can go out and jam in the, a garage, or you can also um, pair together, say, the garage and the living room, or the living room and the patio. Um, or you can just independently have a movie going in the living room, and you can play something completely separate in the study, like they were doing prior. Oh, that's tied to his wife's account. So I could go in here and select this particular station off the tune-in. And you can see, it immediately starts playing. It's great because not only do you have source control, but you also have volume control and grouping control. So you can group together different rooms. I'm going to show you out on the patio next.
So this is the patio space. We did mount a TV up there. So like, let's say for example, we want to group together the study and the, where's our patio? Done. And just like that, now the study and the patio are going to be playing the same exact thing. For whatever your emergency, the Advanced Emergency Department at Texas Health Prosper has you and your family covered. We're open 24-7 and backed by the full resources of the Texas Health System. To get directions and learn more, click the banner now. All right, guys, so you get the idea. It's every room of the house, independent, complete zone control. And you can do wireless as well as hardwired. So you can have some rooms that have in-ceiling speakers or in-wall speakers that will be driven through a Sonos amp. You can also do like a play one, play three, play five, uh, play bar in a situation like this, the wireless sub if you want some bass, and you can assign all of these different products to whichever room that you'd like. And they even have a nice little EQ that measures uh, or does the calibration through your phone. Not bad. Uh, Sonos is a great system at a very good price. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into the demo for the living room. Let's check it out. All right, guys, this is a 5.1. Sonos Play Bar, Sonos Sub, and in-walls. So I'm not sure how that came out on YouTube, but you guys get the idea. I mean, at this price point and this convenience, the Sonos system kills the game. You got a wireless sub you just throw on the floor, Sonos bar up underneath it. And in this situation, it was actually pretty unique having the wired in-wall speakers in the rear of the room. That's really nice. In most situations, when we have a wireless situation, we have to use the Play Ones that just sit on the tables behind the couch. So this was a pretty unique situation and it turned out really nice. I mean, for the space, you really can't beat it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this overall system review. If you would like us to do a system like this for you, we'd be happy to. We're constantly working on growing our installer network uh, and trying to get into most of the major cities. We do have nationwide free shipping and a low price guarantee on every single product that we sell. So if you are in any part of the country, we can help create a system design specifically designed for your space and get you that guaranteed low price with the free shipping. So give us a call if you'd like us to uh, get you a system, we'd be happy to. If you like this video, give me a big thumbs up and make sure to smash that subscribe button down below. Till next time guys, this is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. Thank you for watching. <laughs>